Hey everybody, how's everyone doing today? I'm Steve Chenin, Business Development Lead for Ubisoft Systems. Today we're going to reveal how the human factor, your social media presence, and social engineering impact your risk of being hacked in the future. Remember, a system security is as strong as its weakest link. So what is the weakest link? It's us, the human factor. So what are some common mishaps? Well, being lured by deceptive links, offering free stuff, downloading harmful software, navigating to counterfeit websites, falling victim to scams such as impersonating CEOs. All right, so on a lighter note, who loves dogs? Ever use your pet's name and birth date as a password? Well. Think again. Now you've got to change your dog's name, right? Ugh, horrors. All kidding aside, we as humans are highly at risk to online hacks, often through social persuasion, our online reputations, and more. All right, let's get into social media and social engineering hacking, shall we? Okay, so let's talk about how your online social presence can be impacted by a social media scam, identity theft, and more. And in today's digital world, your reputation is multidimensional. Your family dynamics often influence how you're perceived by others. Your professional behavior shapes your reputation within your organization. Your interaction with peers affect your social standing, your engagement in societal issues reflects your reputation, your associations contribute to your overall reputation. So what are some additional contributing factors to online hacking? Regarding social hacking and your online reputation, you'll need to be vigilant of information accessibility. The easier that information is found, the easier opinions are formed. Information overload, sheer volume, challenges online presence management. The amplification effect. Digital channels can swiftly magnify positive or negative information. So we've talked about some of the areas that contribute to being hacked. Let's go over areas that you do have control over. Your online presence, oversee and shape how you'll appear across digital platforms. Your online content ensures your shared content reflects your desired image and values. Your child's parental controls protect your child from harmful content and malicious users on social media for their safety. Now, Let's discuss how bad actors leverage social media and their online presence to influence unsuspecting victims into making harmful decisions. Social engineering. So what is social engineering? It's a way that online hackers use various techniques of urgency, fear, promise of wealth, or preying on your needs and desires to get you to take immediate emotional action. Their goal? to get you to make a rash decisions before thinking objectively, logically, or questioning anything that seems wrong. Here are a few examples. First, we have phishing. Deceptive emails or messages to steal your information or to click on a malicious link. Next, we've got pretexting, manipulating scenarios Attackers impersonate trusted entities to extract information from you. Last, baiting. Offering enticing bait in the form of malicious files or software to entrap individuals into downloading or installing malware. Well, that concludes our short video for today on the human factor, social reputation, and social engineering 101. We hope you enjoyed it. And until next time,